trial has been updated and improved since its first incarnation and in this video I'm going to go over 5 things you can do to get to that magic 400 number. That number is what you're going to want to get to realistically on stars because at 400 you'll be able to buy this Winter Winter coupon which is by far the best thing in the store here. So that's what everyone should be gunning for and it is undeniably limited based on your account strength. You will have a wall where nothing you do or try will matter anymore and you will just be stuck so for me it's a uh, four four six stars i've tried everything i can't get above this but there are definitely things you can do before that point to get you further and everything i go over will assume you're trying to get through with the counter system and not just trying to face roll your way through with bows because not much you do will really matter there or just be a stats check so number one is scroll down which <laughs> when saying it might be a bit confusing but when I first opened this tab for example and first went through this I assumed just these covenants as they're called were the only options available to you the first five it shows whereas actually if you click hold down and then scroll there are a lot more and the ones down here tend to be a lot better or a lot easier to do than these higher up ones. Stuff like reducing your army size especially is really bad compared to uh, banning bowmen commanders for example. And you can get to the higher amounts of stars by using these ones a lot lot better. So you're going to want to pick the easiest covenants for you. That might vary, but generally there are some ones which will be ideal in all scenarios. So blocking bowman commanders is pretty much always good. If you have like a four star Layla and you're running a lot of female compositions, you can block male commanders easily. If you don't have much money invested, you don't have many four star commanders, blocking awakening skills is a good way of doing it. Reducing the attacks you gain more options the further down you go. Normally you'll want to reduce the attack on the front line more than anything because you'll be reducing the numbers on that more than anything and you'll also want to in most scenarios reduce it because of the counter system too which is my second point. So secondly you'll want to play to the counter system. Now this can vary in how you implement this depending on the stage but it has to be at the forefront of your mind at all times and the most important thing throughout is to not be countered on your front line. So on this stage for example, stage 30, there are 1 million spear and then 600k cav with spear on the front, you can see the formation here. Now this eliminates cav to use in your formation as an option entirely because there's no infantry so you can't counter their inf and you can't go neutral on your front line because they don't have infantry and therefore they're covering the other two options and the spears will shred cav on your front. So that leaves you with just inf and spears to use yourself. Conventionally spear inf is the best formation into this because your front won't get countered, you'll have spear into spear and cav, you'll go neutral against the spear, you'll counter the cav and then your inf on the back line will counter their spear on the front. So that is mathematically at least the best formation you can run into this but on this stage the formation that most people have had the most success with is just pure spear and that's because your front doesn't get countered by anything and then you can focus your buffs a bit better so you don't have to dilute them across two lines you can just fully buff spear and specifically for stuff like health or defense that really helps here because it's a full female lineup so you'll have the four star Layla, the four star Salma and the 4 star Cersei causing huge amounts of commander damage so if you can run something like total health badges in the 4th badge slot instead of something like inf attack for your second line that can really help get you through these stages but the main reason realistically is just this checkbox banning infantry that will dictate your decisions quite a lot here this is just a very easy way of getting stars because you don't buff it at all and you can just run full spear and sort of play a defensive game where you just minimize the damage you take because you don't get countered at all and you can get through that way more than 
try to do maximum damage. Because you could go the opposite way and run full Imp, for example. But these 600k Cav, they're on the back line first of all, so their numbers won't be getting reduced. And they will just do so much damage to you. Like, you can full buff your Imp and just totally destroy the Spear. But you, all your units will likely die if you're on full Imp, even if you hugely buff the health and defense. You're really going to want that front line to not be countered on your side. Third, you're going to really have to min-max your buffs at every wall you hit. Even if you're one of the top accounts in the game, you're going to have to maximize your gear, badges, talents, dragon skills. You're going to want to swap them up a bit. Uh, commanders, 20% or 40% attack buffs. Sapphire dragon skills if you have them, like Agile. Uh, castle skin, March skin, titles, further, Dungeon Lord. Be in proximity of Alliance members with buff castles. Anything you can possibly do to boost your stats higher, do it. And especially with timed stuff like 40% attack or agile, you can just really go all out in that hour until you really hit your wall. You're going to ideally want gear, badge, and talent presets for this, or it's going to get really annoying and time consuming as well. So, fourth of all, it's going to be the repetition can sometimes be rewarded. Now normally this shouldn't be the case, but in the context of the Lord's Trial, in its current incarnation at least, you lose nothing by trying again and again. There's no endurance cost attached to it like there was last time, and the deaths aren't real, so it's totally risk-free. And there are actually fairly significant luck elements in a lot of the later stages, which you can just brute force your way into a bit more success through repetition. And I'll show an example here. So we have three reports here where I run the exact same composition. You see all the three or the five commanders are the exact same. The troop count is the exact same. The dragon skills are the exact same. There are no adjustments whatsoever in any of these reports. But if you look at the deaths, here I lose by about 25k. Here I lose by about 140k actually. And on the, the third one, I actually win by about 140k. Now the only thing different in any of these three reports are luck elements. So I'm running five female commanders, they're running five female commanders, and I have four star Layla, they have four star Layla, four star Salma, and four star Cersei, and all four of these have huge variations in how much they can do per fight depending on pure luck. So at, at the first second of the fight, their Salma has an 80% chance to proc the female commander's active abilities. That means it can proc either all five of them, or zero of them, or anywhere in between. It can also cause their units to start missing by its 20% chance after just uh, in this first five seconds. And because of the format of Roller's Trial, this can actually happen, unlike normal PvP because the troops actually engage in these first 5 seconds, which they normally don't, which sort of invalidates that part of Salma's 4 star. So Salma could proc all 5 commanders, and then those 5 commanders using their actives could then theoretically proc Cersei 5 times, or, it, or they could proc 5 times off Salma, and then proc like 20 times overall with Layla, and then they could proc Cersei repeatedly as well, or they could just proc zero times. So it's huge variation in how much damage you receive, and on my side, with the 4 star Layla, it's the same thing, there's huge variation in how much I deal at those around 10, 20, 30, and 40 second marks with the active abilities. So if you just run the same formation over and over again, you can actually have a lot more success than you would initially think. So here I saw the losses were so close that I knew it would be worth to just keep running it and hope for these luck elements to go my way. And in the end, they did, even though the second one was terrible for me. This third one was way, way in my favor. Nothing changed. If you do do this, I would advise making a temporary preset with like the same commanders and the same troops and all that because if you don't 
it is very fiddly manually inputting all the commanders according to the checkbox gimmick so here if you say ban the male commanders you can't use probably your normal formation say of like a, a julia in your normal formation in your normal preset and you just click that you'd have to manually every single time uh like uncheck it and then go down to the other one and you'd have to do that over and over and over again so if you can make a temporary preset like i did here that is ideal if you have to run it 10 15 20 times it just gets too annoying if you don't make the preset and finally at five it's going to be that you're going to want to make adjustments based on reports and see which checkboxes are working out for you or going worse for you see which commanders are working out for you and working out a bit worse for you and then make adjustments based off that so you're going to really want to micro analyze your reports and keep making small adjustments so i'll use the same example here on when I finally got 30 down. So when I actually did it, it had lats in it. Aria sort of makes sense because she gives total attack, but lats here shouldn't realistically make sense because her four star ability uh, only heals infantry. There's no infantry to heal. Her buffs only buff infantry attack, health, and defense. Again, there's no infantry to buff. So effectively, lats here is practically doing nothing but before that I was just trying to full buff the spear and I wasn't really getting close you see I was doing very little damage in comparison to this hit and there are probably a few reasons for that but the reason I swapped to this was I was trying to find solutions basically so the check boxes I had on this stage the male commanders were blocked I think infantry commanders are blocked, bowmen commanders are blocked, so I was just having to use female, spear, and cavalry commanders, which left me with this, and I was just trying to full buff the, the spear attack, and I, I wasn't even halfway close. So I tried instead using, I swapped the checkboxes up a bit, and I unblocked infantry commanders, and then I ran Arya and lats and I really tried to lean into the commander damage because whilst Uma and Salma here which was really scraping the barrel for buffs the alternatives were like Jean and stuff like that there just wasn't much left she was the only other thing that buffed spear attack which was the only unit type I was using but Uma was only buffing the spear attack by 30 percent at zero stars she would use her active twice in the fight Compared to Lats, at 4 stars she'd use her active 4 times in the fight, and then that will get exaggerated further by Layla, so you have more opportunities to multi-proc the active off Layla's 4 star. And whilst Lats herself doesn't buff the spears, she will actually take the spears damage and then convert it into her own commander damage, which does infantry damage, and then counter their frontline and do significantly more commander damage than Uma would be doing to them. Plus, the fact she's 4 star, she'll have higher scaling on her active ability too, so that only further exaggerates it. And, as you can see, just in the numbers, this was way more successful for me. Because not only does do I do more damage, but the fact I do more damage actually reduces the damage I take, because we're killing more, so they're dealing damage with less. And even though it doesn't really make sense at first glance just analyzing the reports and trying to figure out okay what can I do to just do a little bit more damage or reduce a little bit more damage on me brought me here and all that came from was just trying to problem solve you won't find one thing in all likelihood when you hit your wall at least which will just be a eureka moment and fix everything but there might be a few things which each add up and then if everything lines up, you can break past your wall. So maybe I don't use Salma, I use Arya, I don't use Uma, I use Lats, even though there's no there's no Imp. I remember to change my dragon skills, because I had, say, no spear attack dragon skills. I remember to change them, I changed the castle skin, because I forgot that. Just little things you can keep adding up 
to keep getting you a bit closer and then hopefully that can take you all the way and get you to where you need to. And there we go, it's certainly difficult for lower spenders, that is for sure. 400 is a very, very high bar and some you might just have no shot at all unless you've spent quite a lot of money on the game to get your stats and commanders to a point where you can flex around to a point where you can get to those high star levels. But I think this is either way the best advice I have for you to get to those 400 stars in the new Rollers trial.